Welcome to this Arnold Clifford Knitwear tutorial on estimating yarn length for Intarsia. This tutorial is part of our Little Lessons Intarsia series designed to accompany the patterns in the Modern Daily Knitting Field Guide number 16, Painterly. This lovely field guide is filled with designs from Kaif Facet, each one using the Intarsia technique. The hints and tips in this video, along with the others in the series, will give you everything you need to tackle the patterns with absolute confidence. The pattern I'm working on here is the watercolour cowl, and it uses these varied colours in the centre of each of the motifs. And I'm going to show you a way now to get an idea of how much yarn you'll need for each of those patches. I'm now ready to work across the wrong side row and I want to have a bit of an idea how much of the yarn I'm going to need. So I've worked out that each of the patches is 30 stitches of yarn and I'm going to show you how to measure off and get roughly 30 stitches worth of yarn ready to go. So first of all we're going to have a length to begin with that we're going to leave to weave in the ends and then we're going to wrap the yarn around the tip of the needle 10 times to see roughly how much yarn 10 stitches will need. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And if we pinch at both ends and pull it off the needle, there we go. So this is our length of yarn for 10 stitches. And what we want to do now is fold it so that we've got three lots of that 10 stitches worth of yarn, which should be enough for working our 30 stitch motif. I'm then going to add on to the end another tail to weave in. And I'm gonna add another bit just for luck because the last thing you want to do is run out when there's only a couple of stitches remaining. So I've now got my length of yarn just for working that patch and I can use that and measure out the same for each of the other colours. So there's my green. And lastly, the blue. And now I'm ready to work across my row with my separate strands of yarn. I've worked the first few stitches on that wrong side row and I'm now ready to introduce that stretch of orange yarn. So I'm just going to hold it so that there's a nice length there to use to weave in the ends. And then I'm going to work across the next few stitches. And now we come to the next colour, which we're just pulling from the tangle. So anti-clockwise, fold over the new, pick the new up from underneath, and off we go. And that's how we introduce a new colour as well. So we've not only estimated how much yarn we're going to need, we've also popped a new colour in. Now ready to put in the blue. Oh, not the blue, I thought I'd have the green next actually. So we pull out our green. And again, I just hold the tail, hold the tail so that you've got a length to weave in later. And then literally just purl the next stitch with it. When you come to weave in the ends, and I'll do a little video on that in a minute, when you come to weave in the ends, you can use the ends to just join any little gap that you might have forming there between the previous colour and the new one. So don't worry if it looks a bit gappy to begin with on that first row, that's totally normal. It really is quite astonishing how much weaving in the ends tidies up in Tarsia. And there's that one. And lastly, we're going to have the blue. So 
we've left a tail and we're just parallel with it. And the final intarsia join. And there we have it, all of our new colours are introduced. I'll be back in a minute to show you that it was the right length of yarn, fingers crossed! I've now finished working my rows with each of those patches of colour and if we turn over you'll see that I had a fair bit of yarn left over on each of them so I know next time I wind off maybe I don't need to leave quite so much just to be on the safe side but it was really handy to have a starting point to work out how much yarn was needed for those patches. So I think it was worth having a little bit more than I needed just to be on the secure side. And don't worry too much if your intarsia looks a little bit lumpy bumpy to begin with. It's amazing, absolutely amazing what a difference weaving the ends in will make. Once they are woven in, everything looks far neater and tidier and I'll show you how to do that on a separate video. I do hope you found that useful to have an idea of how much yarn you need for each patch of colour. If you've enjoyed the video tutorial, do click the button down the bottom here to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and you'll find a link up top here to visit our online shop where there's lots more books and yarn all about techniques. Thanks ever so much for watching. Bye-bye.